and welcome back right so we have this situation going on here goblins are fighting brigands i suppose the brigands are about to lose so we might fight the goblins but i think i want to fight this this group of brigands before we do that and we might be damaged enough to not warrant the goblin fight afterwards i mean we don't really benefit much from fighting this goblin group here it's just going to be a long annoying fight where we take a bunch of damage and get like nothing that we can really make use of apart from selling stuff so at first at least let's fight this group of brigands if we're able to and we have a new objective which is to get a better sergeant because halver here just quite isn't good enough i don't think i mean he's fine i guess but he doesn't even have fortified mind so is at 107 resolve which is kind of pathetic in legends at this point um it's not like mandatory or anything and we can boost the resolve with peaceable for plus 20 etc but he also has fear of undead well granted that will eventually go away but he also has nyctophobia which is i mean it's not the worst thing i guess and it is plus five during daytime but i'd really like to replace him anyway and i haven't actually been looking at the recruiting screen in a long while because people haven't been dying so i guess i should start doing that just to find a better banner perhaps and we could in theory get the noble from the noble wars when that happens but our limitation of requiring hate for beasts for everyone will most likely disqualify him so we will not be making use of that guy anywho let's see if we can fight this group of freakens they are running towards the goblins for some reason and it seems the goblins are afraid of us which i mean sure we would kill them and let's go for the brigands here. Alright. Engage. And we wait. And since <clears throat> we have two capable ranged characters now, we usually have the ranged superiority against our opponents, which means they will advance on us. And they do love to tickle us with their tiny, pathetic crossbows. But yeah, this should be an easy fight at this point. We've taken down Lindworms by now. So from now, I think our main objective is to get the repair tent. As, um, even if that seems a bit like, I don't know, perhaps like not mandatory or something, but... The tool situation kind of warrants it, I think. So if we go into the wilds, we will, even with the scrap tent, run out of tools quite quickly. So I'd really like to find that repair tent. So I think after we sell stuff stuff at Brookstadt, we will head north to see if we can find the repair tent in one of the cities there, or citadels, I should say. And yeah, after that, I guess... The world is our oyster, so to speak, so we can basically do whatever we want. Probably. At least very nearly. So, let's see. Probably go, like, after some difficult camps at that point, like, maybe barbarian camps, since we are in the north. Would be fairly exciting to find a difficult barbarian camp with like multiple chosen champions etc and i'm not really like focusing on this battle because i don't feel the need at the moment here's prince menhard murder hand okay take that oh never mind you had a you had a minion there to block block that shot Okay, also I brought Farouk here. He's level 9, so high time he gets some combat action. We'll change this reach weapon out once he's like, I don't know, level 10. At the very latest, level 11, I guess. Nice hit. Uh, 
And let's inspire wolf. And if we see like witch contracts or scrat contracts or unhold contracts in the north, I think we will take those because we need to do those in order to unlock the legendary legendary contracts for the legendary beasts. We might even go after some orc camps very soon, but we'll see where where the game takes us. I'm not gonna bother with daggering. Well, maybe I should like dagger this guy. It's it's worth a lot of money. These armors, if they're 300, but this guy has 400 actually. <laughs> I should dagger that. That's going to be like I don't know 8,000 crowns or something like that. Uh, I wish I could like make notes during battle so I can mark this guy like with a red arrow or something <laughs> so I remember. My brain just doesn't keep up anymore in these days. Uh, so yeah, this guy and maybe this guy. And maybe the swine as well. Let's kill that guy the old fashioned way. <clears throat> also, I don't know, we might already be able to do the easy rock, maybe. I don't, like, I haven't done that in a while, so I don't remember how tough it is in Legends for Legendary difficulty. But we'll see, we'll see. You're the guy I want to deck. Well, we are one of the guys I want to dagger, I guess. And dagger these two, yeah. At this point, these weapons are like not a threat to us. So daggering enemies becomes easier and easier and easier. It also becomes like less rewarding as the money keeps piling. Uh, let's keep inspiring Wolf since he has a ton of Fatigue cost reduction. Um, yeah, you want to be daggered. Prince Menhard, I don't care about. Also, getting kills on Borkild would unlock the Brigand contract, which, from what I remember, is quite lucrative. It's also quite difficult, but. But yeah, we want to unlock that at some point. Let's consider these brigands to be like honorary beasts or something. Okay. And if we had brought our net master, I guess we could use nets without many repercussions. But we didn't bring her. Should bring her for these brigand fights because that enables us to dagger people far easier. Anywho, let's keep on killing. Kill the guys that we don't want to dagger. And yeah, with Chloe, actually I should probably men mention this. So originally the plan was to make use of backs and belts and quick hands, but I have since decided to go shields instead. So at least for the next perk, we'll get born with a board for 10% damage reduction and two free shield walls. So that will boost her survivability, which is already quite insane to a new height. Um, indomitable we probably won't be getting, not with this fatigue pool. If we had more resolve with her as well, we might be able to, we might have been able to get indomitable with rebound for infinite uses. But that is not the case. Anyway, let's keep on bonking these bozos. Die, thank you. Let's move here. I guess we get the dagger out since we want to dagger both of these fools. 
merely for the money at this point. Um, currently 14% here. But this hit chance will be improved as they get exhausted. And we do have some backstabbers, I believe, so... And eventually even a 14% will land and lower their resolve levels, further improving our chances. Also, yeah, we want to find famed weapons since our people are still kind of... Well, some of them are using this kind of um, mediocre weapons at this point. For example, Emmerich still has a pike, is level 15. So a famed polearm would vastly improve his combat effectiveness. So we might want to like do caravan contracts that go to citadels with uh, weaponsmiths. Also, we could check like uh, black markets. <coughs> okay, Herman, just go in and miss. That's fine. Now, Farouk here might take a little bit of damage, maybe, but let's see. Reduced by 53%. He might throw dirt. I mean, sure. We could also dagger for 3%, 3 which is actually 5. So let's throw some dirt into the swine's beady little eyes. Kill that one. Thank you. It's pretty nice to have a good bow user, even though, even if bows are like not the best damage weapons, they're quite nice. Uh, do we want to dagger this guy? I guess we could. So these three. Yeah. So that means that Bava doesn't currently have a good target. Wolram, uh, just get your dagger out, I suppose, or we could kill this. No, we don't need to. Let's give the kill to Borkhild, because Borkhild also has... Also, that's 8%, but we do have fast adaptation, so it's fine. Take some damage. That is also fine. Baldwin misses 254s. Acceptable. I mean, I can't unaccept it, but you know what I mean. And let's get your dagger out also. 2%. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have a dagger for a 2%. So yeah, having that net master for this would be... Would be good, but I suppose we'll get through this even without her. Also, it's a bit of a shame that our net master doesn't have backs and belts. Um, I'm currently doing an offline run or non-recorded run where I have a netmaster who has backs and belts and it's pretty glorious actually and the guy isn't even fully leveled but yeah that makes things a lot easier anywho Bava I guess move here maybe get a shot in on one of these guys who we will kill the old-fashioned way Unless we kill them before that. And here we have a 7% and a 21. Um, I suppose we'll go for the 21s. And we land a hit. 14%. Nope. So yeah, daggering. It's a bit tedious. It takes a while. We'll take some armor damage while we do it. So maybe if we want to keep doing the daggers, we should bring our net net person. But like I've been saying, daggering people at this point, not necessary at all. We have like over 70,000 crowns anyway. Though if we hit the black markets, we will quickly lose cash. Anywho, keep on killing. Farouk, 4%, just wait. 
here we have a 24 now it's a 37 and now it's a 49 okay all three miss okay if you start taking hit point damage on someone like warm we'll just kill this guy the old-fashioned way don't want to bother going for the daggering when it's not necessary at all Okay, that guy's dead. Move. 38, 39. Nope. Let's inspire Boar Killed, I guess. This guy went for 5% there. Okay, here we have 59. Nice. 70. And. Oh, we don't have enough fatigue, so that inspire was wasted. Well, whatever. Hmm. Not just hold with Farouk. Maybe kill this... Kill the swine last. Since he seems to be the hardest to hit. 15, 7. Oh, nice, we land a 15. And now it's suddenly 80. Nice, we land a 14, now it's 26. Uh, just get your dagger out, Emmerich. Thirty-eight, the guy is reposting, but it's not going to do deal that much damage. Also, he's just dead, so <laughs> yeah. And our ranged characters currently don't need to be doing anything. Get your knives out. That's a film I never watched. From what I heard, it's like, okay, but pretty stupid. And if if I hear that the film is pretty stupid, I usually skip it. Even if I'm a fan of, like, some very stupid films, like... Um, Arnold Schwarzenegger's timeless classic Commando, which I talked about briefly in... Um, one episode or le already even if that has no relevance to battle brothers i usually skip films that like um, try to appear to be intelligent smart um, clever films but ultimately are just implausible and fairly stupid anyway like they're Trying hard, but not really hard enough to actually succeed at what they're doing. But they managed to get like this thin veneer of um, plausible deniability or something. Um, so that is the... whatever. Why am I talking about that? <laughs> Why am I talking about that? Anyway, let's leave this crap here, I guess. Yeah, and our inventory is full, so... That is one further incentive to not fight these goblins because I don't really want to do the inventory um, circus. So let's just head to Brookstadt and hopefully get a good selling price for all our junk. Yes, we will. There's ambush trade routes still, still here and we should check the hiring screen because we might find we might find a banner. Okay, so witch hunters I think can Become good banners. This guy is expensive, but we have the money, so I guess we'll try. Okay, skip, skip. Um, so I don't know, but I believe guild masters are unique to um, the Beast Slayer origin. So I don't actually exactly know what kind of perks they have available. So we had that one starting guildmaster who died pretty much immediately at the start of the run. Um, so I guess with this money situation we could try out something like this, but our limitation of needing hate for beasts will still apply. So let's, well, I guess we'll see. 
doesn't have hate for beast but out of curiosity let's let's check the perk tree quickly mainly i'm interested in damage potential and possible mind over body potential so at least this one doesn't get mind over body i don't see it they do get a lot of favored enemy perks um yeah at least i think they get like basically all of the favored uh, beast enemy perks yeah so seems to be a capable background but <coughs> But, 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 we are not taking this person since they don't have hate for beasts. And even if they did with this roster situation, I think we should either get some people killed or fire them. So, Guntard, we could get killed or fire, for example. In, f in some fights, even a militia spear user can still be, like, relatively useful. Um, the spear walling actually does still help us in some fights, but... Even so, I think it's just better to have, like, really good damage dealers instead. So we could fire Kuntard. That would be a little over 2,000 now. He's paid 19 per day, so it's quite a bit, quite a long while for that to actually pay for it. If we fire him with the compensation, which will be over 2,000. But we do have the money now, so we might fire someone like him. We might also fire Valentin, the cook. And just let Egelina do um, quartermaster things. To free up some slots, but I would really prefer to have people die organically in battle. Um, we could bring Guntard to some difficult battles and let him die, like where we put him in a situation where he is unlikely to survive but not sure we want to do that yet but i'll consider it consider it anyway we have two level ups so let's level up faruk here level 10 uh, okay so earlier on i was speculating whether to make use of mind over body fortified mind and we haven't really been rolling well with resolve we could fix that if we grinded the arena for resolve arena traits but i'm not sure we want to be doing that probably not um, this run is going to take forever if we try to grind the arena with everyone we deem it to be marginally useful for so here we could just skip the resolve which is plus four and i mean we could also like use um, something in the in this um necklace slot that gives resolve like something like a hexen trophy for plus six resolve there are ways around um, having a relatively low resolve so what we could do here is take the plus four resolve and at some point probably take fortified mind and mind over body however he doesn't even get berserk so what would what would we make use of with mind over body what he does have is indomitable and he does have a rebound however i think you need like a hundred resolve or something something really huge for um indomitable cost to be lowered to 20. and do we have recuperation we do so we would need indomitable to cost like 22 fatigue which might be achievable if we take Recuperation, Rebound, Mind Over Body, and Fortified Mind, and Pump Resolve. We might eventually reach a point where we can spam Indomitable. Uh, but I'm not sure if we want to bother with that, especially since I'm not going to like try to calculate what exactly it would require and if it's reachable without some, without jumping through hoops. So what we could instead do with this guy is just deal some damage um, with like, I don't know, daggers? No, he's um, a bit low with his melee skills, so maybe, well, maybe like spears for that plus chance to hit. 
And in some fights we would make use of spear wall. Um, he still has some training to gain. But yeah, even even with um, without if we don't take mind over body, I think his resolve is low enough to warrant like this plus four here. So let's take it. And now we could take either the initiative or the hit points. I think for him, the hit initiative might be better. He already has a good amount of hit points, and more initiative means more out of freedom of movement and dodge. So let's take the initiative here, even even if even if it's just a plus four. And I'm not entirely sure if that's correct, but whatever. It's not like it's not that bad if we make some tiny errors in our leveling up. We could take Overwhelm with daggers, I guess, but... Hmm. Okay, so I want to delay this, the decisions here. I guess we could take Gifted to boost the melee skill as well. That will boost plenty of important things. I mean, with Gifted we can improve Resolve. So eventually Fortified Mind does do something, but like I said, like I said earlier, the only use I can immediately see here is Indomitable, and we kind of... Well, then again, then again, we don't really need to be able to spam it forever. We have a good amount of fatigue anyway. So... Hmm. Oh, man. <laughs> I should, like, mm, decide on these things earlier. Let's level up Halgor. Halver, not Halgor. To level 15 in the meanwhile. And I don't care about his melee skill anymore. Let's just take melee defense and... Fatigue? Do you get rebound? You don't. So Inspire costs 23 at the moment. Uh, we could just take Peaceable. That will enable him to keep inspiring people for longer. Uh, we could also just take Efficient Packing or something. Or we could... Hmm, perfect fit with... Um, light. Yeah, that would also help. Lower Fatigue cost, but let's take Peaceable, I guess. Also grants people a tiny bit of resolve and XP gain when in battle. So, whatever. So, <clears throat> Halver went through a journey here. For a long time, he was a damage dealer with Backstabber. Carried us a little bit. Well, not really carried, but carried his own weight. Has 93 kills. But since those, um, since those days have... Um, those days are now gone, and he's, he has turned into meditation and has become peaceable in his old old days, has seen enough killing, understands that killing is still necessary, but does not want to um, personally participate in backstabbing people anymore. So now takes peaceable for some resolve boost, like so. And also that bugged out, so let's do this quickly. Right, 128 resolve. Inspire now costs 21. So a tiny bit of help there. So, <coughs> even so, like I said er earlier, I think we will want to replace him. Let's take Fatigue here so he can keep inspiring for a li little bit longer, perhaps. But yeah, we need to decide what to do with Farouk here. Um, I'll hold off on that. And let's see. So these Horror in the Woods contracts, they're very easy. And at this point, the only reason to take them, well, the main reason to take them for us is to eventually unlock the Redback Spider contract. 
let's see how far away are we from that with people who actually have the spider hate okay pretty far at least on Herman let's see who else has it Asa okay Asa is semi close well it will take a lot of killing I mean we might be able to find like red packs out in the wild where we get plus one percent per kill and we need to reach 15 percent uh yeah but i don't know i currently i don't want to be doing that contract but eventually we might have to if we want to unlock the contract for the red pack spiders so i think let's see where this caravan is going stay enforced Okay, we'll take that because we need tools. We'll probably get tools from there. And after that, we'll probably head north. Try to find the repair tent and quite likely fight some camps. Uh, not sure about these like pretty easy camps, but let's see if we can find like a difficult camp. Maybe this one will be difficult. I would imagine it is. Um, and if we see like champions in any of these layers, I guess we take them out as well but first instead of babbling i guess i should be selling stuff i can babble while i sell anyway so the selling price is it is 24 okay and we have a ton of these things i guess i should check what we can make out of them here's the lean worms hoard we can sell that for almost 2000 each I don't remember what you make out of saber tooths. Or are these just valuables? Probably sold. Okay, those those are just valuables. Money, money, money. And I suppose saliva can be used to make potions. Don't remember which ones. I should check. Uh, glistening scales. I don't believe those are very important, but... The I guess I should check that as well. We have lindworm bones. We have a lot of crap. Lot of crap. Uh, we don't need war bows, do we? I don't think we do. Yeah, I don't think we do. Don't need these um, weapons that aren't faint. Could wait for these to be repaired. But regular longsword, I guess that can go. I'll keep these pikes, I guess, because we might still want to use them in some contracts. Maybe. It's unlikely at this point, but maybe we do. And like I said, I could wait for this to be repaired, but the tool situation doesn't like really enable that kind of thing at the moment we don't need this like mediocre heavy helmets we don't need that we don't need this uh goblin poison hmm. so if i remember correctly you need poison to reliably be able to do rock unholds but i don't remember if goblin poison is as is going to be the poison we want for that or if it's the weaponic poison actually I'll need to check that, I guess. But yeah, it's unlikely we'll see any rock holds anytime soon, though we might. Um, acidic Sile Iva. Is there. Um, yes, there is a taxidermist. Let's quickly check. What is that used for? I apologize if this is boring to watch, but. Yeah, smoke pots. At least, at least smoke pots. Anything else? Anything else? I don't see anything else. So smoke pots are pretty useful at this point. I don't know if we'll be needing them or anything. So we can sell at least most of the saliva. We don't really make use of smoke pot, but there are some uses for it. It can be also used in conjunction, in conjunction with some perks. 
like the assassins have um let's see who's an assassin we have an assassin akbar let's see so was it this thing grants plus 20 percent maximum and minimum damage while hidden by being within a bush or smoke so you could make smoke pots work as like damage items with assassinate assassins gain 30 percent so yeah in some fights that would be quite nice but not sure if we want to be utilizing smoke pots for just one one assassin who doesn't even have the perk would need to get that also <clears throat> i guess i should mention yeah assassins come with these dagger perks so i guess we'll take prepared at some point if we manage to get enough perk points i'll most likely go dagger master with akbar here so after dagger mastery i guess we'll take prepared if we do that anywho let's keep on selling stuff uh, we don't need to make any nacho necklaces i don't think there are better necklaces out there let's keep some though some nacho parts Raging Hyena fur, I guess we could still like make a couple of those Hyena mantles it's for someone like maybe Visho. The Visho here, hmm. Visho has a maimed foot now, we could just fire him. Has been with us for 159 days. I guess Visho could be fired. I'm un unlikely to use him in fights unless we're desperate at this point. He could still be useful with 94 melee skill, but... Also, we have... Um, we have Dodge. That's giving us plus 10 at the moment. Yeah, I don't know if Visho here should be used anymore. He has... He's okay, like... 94 melee skill, 36 melee defense, and almost 130 hit points. We'll get another perk from training, and we'll get another perk on level 15. Even so, we can find, like, better people. So, when we have almost a full roster, I guess we should probably try to find better people. So, let's fire Visho, actually. He can go live on a farm with his compensation money. So take all of that off. Let's give someone the Traveler's Sash, like Guntard here. So maybe we should fire Guntard in the same go. But yeah, Visho has served as well. He is a dastard still. But yeah, let's get rid of him. Pay him the compensation. Good luck in your future endeavors with your maimed foot, Visho. And should we fire Guntard? I mean, I guess we should could also get these people killed, but there's really no need. Also, if if we get people killed, it will like lower mood and possibly um, incentivize people to start drinking. And while Drunkard is, like, arguably a good trait to have, it also comes with some very annoying events. So I don't usually want to take that, so... I guess we fire Guntard as well at this point. Was very useful for a long time, but I think he's kind of outlived most of his usefulness, even though, yeah, with the shield expertise and born with a board and spear waller he could still like do something but at this point i think we want either damage dealers or extremely good tanks instead of someone who uses a militia spear so let's get rid of guntard as well good luck and swere i will still keep because swere is far more useful, even in the reserves, with skillful stacking, trustworthy demeanor, and 
could still be used in fights as well, has 74 melee defense, even though people are just going to ignore his uh, presence with a 54 melee skill with a tip staff, but he most likely will not even bring him to fights anymore. Anyway, let's keep on selling. Since that's what we were doing, now sell this junk. Okay. Um, I guess those could be salvaged, actually. I should probably keep them for salvage. Don't need this mediocre heavy armors. Don't think we need this. This is pretty good heavy armor, but don't think we <coughs> don't think we need it. Basically all of us are using <coughs> almost all of us are using nimble armors anyway. I'll keep this most expensive heavy armor, I guess. <coughs> anyway, we are at almost 120,000. Uh, could sell the quality wood, I guess we will. Could also like maybe craft a famed warbow out of that if we find a bowyer and level them to level 6, but seems unnecessary and also kind of difficult to find one. Well, actually not difficult, because we don't need to have the hate for beasts as long as they don't participate in combat. But I'll keep most of these craftable things here in case we want to craft something out of them still but yeah i should like on my own look at things we actually want to craft and act accordingly let's sell a few things still don't need so many of these armors don't need no <laughs> i can i can salvage that i uh, don't need this don't need that Don't need this. Don't need that. And this can go as well. And probably this can go. Okay. So finally, I think we are ready to move. And let's just take the caravan, I guess. No one we want to hire. I guess we could at some point hire a caravan hand to upgrade our cart. But, I don't know, seems unnecessary as well. Also, during our Crusader run, we had a caravan hand. I think his name was Oswulf. <laughs> he lost his hand at one point, and it took him like, I don't know, 100 days or 200 days to actually um, upgrade our cart. Even after reaching level 6, which is the requirement. But yeah, we are finally ready to move. Uh, we are not crafting anything, are we? We could make throwing nets, but we don't need to. Let's make uh, three of these, I guess. I guess I could make one of these for someone who uses mind over body. Anything else we want? Smoke pots? I mean, sure, I guess even though i just said that I, I wasn't going to probably use them but yeah they can be used they can be made use of so in fights with lindworms for example or any difficult fight where you want to move someone out of um, zones of control either to attack someone else or to save them so they can flee i guess these things are semi-useful let's let's make three of them sure I'm not sure if I'll be using them, but let's make three of them. And yeah, we want to be salvaging. Salvage those. And salvage this. Could salvage this, but this is a good nimble helmet still. I want to get rid of all of them. With this money situation we have, like we don't really need to care about if something is worth a lot of money. 
Uh, we could just salvage it anyway, but it still feels kind of bad to do that. So I am going to keep micromanaging a little bit here. So let's salvage that gambeson there without the attachment, which we might still make use of, maybe. Let's see. Oh, what my mind the crafting tent? Apologies for all this um, confusion here. Okay, so leave so just one person to salvage, I guess. Don't need this many repairs either. Okay. This should be fine. Don't need a healer though. <coughs> okay, we are finally ready to move. So let's camp. All right. Okay, we see goblins. Is it the same group from earlier? No, it's not. So I think we are getting the green skin crisis next. Also, it's probably a good thing they're afraid of us because a fight like this might get some people killed. They have four champions. And normally four champions is pretty exciting for their stuff, but since it's specifically goblins, it's not that great to actually get their stuff since it's most likely going to be useless at this point in the game. At least for our company. Right, we've reached our destination. Also, apparently we are only training like a few people anymore. Oh, it's night time. Okay. Well, let's see. We get a level up on Bava, who's level 11. Uh, let's see, let's see. Um, what the hell are we giving you? I guess fatigue and resolve. Well, sure, whatever. All right, and perk-wise, I guess we could take favorite enemy archer, or maybe recover at this point, or maybe adrenaline, or maybe double strike. I do want favorite enemy archer at some point to just make that a little bit um, easier even though it's not like a major consideration, I guess. Something like Clarity would also be pretty good for plus 10% um, armor ignore. Just plain old damage. So, hmm. You'll still get one perk from training and at least one more perk from leveling. At least if he doesn't die before that, or she doesn't die before that, so... But whatever, let's take favorite enemy archer. And we are at... Well, I can't see because the UI scaling is um, not being helpful here. Hubert has also gained a level, is now level 8. Have we used Hubert yet? Yes, we have in two battles. Okay, take the... Oh, you get mind over body, huh? Uh, but you don't get fortified mind. Even so, it's probably better than fatigue here. So take these things like so. And yeah, we. I still haven't remembered, or have I? Yes, I have. Never mind. You are light. So you're like our only light person. Is that true? Well, whatever. In any case, you have in the zone. I guess we take dodge for more defenses. Or we could just take balance. Uh, let's see, this is 26 and 8. Um, that is 34, right? So balance needs exactly 35 weight to make um, the most out of it. But let's take balance here, I guess. For more defenses for Hubert. Uh, let's see, we are currently gaining... It says plus 15. 
uh, when you have a compound rate of 35 okay well maybe that like decreases slower than implied with this since we're currently gaining all of it all well most of it no, not most of it all of it <laughs> really having trouble like formulating my thoughts today anyway let's um move people out of these things and that guess we should actually hunt for food now i don't know we don't need food we need ammunition so might as well fletch even though buying ammunition at this point is like no issue at all it's also gather i guess Gajon hasn't completed, Bawa hasn't completed, and Farouk hasn't completed, and Akbar. Akbar has completed the training, okay. So that should be all of it. All right, let's camp until dawn. And now we have room in our roster, so we can actually check the recruits again. Uh, here's Fresenda. Nope. I'll leave Yvonne B. And do we have tools? We do. I will take all of them. Let's also buy some medical supplies, even though it's like unlikely that we'll be needing them. We also have a kitchen tent here. Yes, we could take it with this money situation, sure. Even if it's a bit overpriced, at almost 5,000 crowns. What we are looking for really is the repair tent. But kitchen tent will also help us a little bit. Will enable us to get more better rewards from hunting. Anyway, let's move to Hohenfest. I have no time to play dice. Time is money. Uh, no repair, repair tent here, but there are tools. One, two, three, four, five. About the hiring screen. Nope. Eh. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so we find a swordmaster with hate for beasts. The stars could be good, but or they're right they're in the right places kind of, but they're also only one star each. Has a sure shot, which is completely unhelpful, and also is ailing. Does have mind over body and does have fortified mind, so we might take John the Pale here because of the Resolve Star. Well, not, not just because of that, but it does help to have that. Gets perfect focus. So might eventually make use of that, maybe. Gets Berserk. Doesn't get Killing Frenzy or 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 uh, battle flow battle flow is very nice with uh, perfect focus and berserk then again with mind over body might be unnecessary at least for berserk also i'm getting a call so i need to end the episode here thanks for watching and i'll see you next time